Benchmark Signature's Market Insight, reviewing the real estate market in the GTA for September. Due to significant confusion surrounding Toronto's vacant home tax, the city has redesigned the filing process. This includes extending the declaration period, with next year's filing from November 3rd, 2024 until April 30th, 2025. The city will also revamp the declaration portal to make it more user-friendly and allow declarations via the 311 hotline. Also, the late declaration fee will remain waived, though it may be reinstated in future years. Lloyd has released its latest fall economic outlook, predicting that as inflation continues to ease, the Bank of Canada is expected to cut interest rates by 0.25% at each of its remaining meetings this year, bringing the rate down to 3.75%. This boost is anticipated to stimulate a rebound in consumer confidence. Regarding the housing market, the law forecasts that with mortgage rates falling and home prices are currently below their 2022 peak, sales activity will begin to pick up in the final quarter of this year, returning to average levels. Strong growth is expected to follow in 2025 and 2026. In the end, let's look at the real estate numbers. In September, the GTA recorded 4,996 home sales, an increase of 8.5% compared to last year. The average home price was around 1.11 million, down 1% from last year. The board highlighted that buyers are taking advantage of changes to mortgage lending guidelines and borrowing courses trend lower. With each rate cut, more households across the GTA, including first-time buyers, are finding it easier to afford a home. As the market becomes better supplied, buyers are gaining greater negotiating power. If you want to know more, feel free to contact Benchmark Signature Realty 